Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into a very fascinating uh, problem on uh, Litico Daily Challenge, Coin Change 2. So let's get started. So all right, let's first understand the problem. We are given a coins of different denomination and uh, a specific uh, value, amount. And the challenge, figure out the different ways we can achieve that amount using our coin set. So it's not uh, about minimizing or maximizing the coin count, it's about discovering all possible combinations. So for instance, uh, if we have uh, numbers like uh, amount uh, 5 and coins 1 to 5, we can have uh, 4 distinct weights and this is because we can create 5 just picking 5 or 5 could be uh, 2 plus 2 plus 1 or 5 could be 2 uh, plus one, uh, yeah, three times, or five could be just one, five times. Okay, so now uh, when we understand it, and because there is four different ways, uh, unique ways, uh, we need to return four. And how we can solve it? Yes, we can solve it using dynamic programming. So to crack this, we are going to employ a one dimensional uh, array, uh, let's call it, uh, dp and uh, at size of amount so amount uh, plus one because uh, our array is zero uh, index at uh, and also at uh, index dpi uh, we will store uh, at it will signify the number of ways we can achieve amount uh, i uh, with the coin uh, we have so basically you see that uh, at the end we will uh, return a dp amount because it will store our uh, result and we will initialize uh, our dp so let's call it dp uh, and visualize uh, the example uh, with all zero except for dp0 because we uh, we can achieve amount of zero by uh, one way so by not picking any coins at all and for every coins we have uh, to iterate through our dp array and update the uh, our coin count so we will have initial state so it will be uh, like this so uh, all zero except for first and then we need to process coin one coin two and also coin uh, five so uh, we will uh, create and initialize it and basically what we have so uh, our dp uh, j will become uh, dp with j minus coin uh, value uh, and we will start from uh, one as we have coin one so uh, we have uh, one way to create uh, value of one and also one way to create value of two three four and five and uh, then we will iterate uh, with coin two but we will start from index two and yes we have two ways to create uh, this value and uh, our uh, transition function become a dpj minus uh, two because it's a coin value so after updating it will be uh, and we are using dynamic programming so it will be free and free and last uh, coin is five so it will be one one two two three because we are processing only uh, dp5 and we will uh, set uh, dp5 we will add dp uh, index uh, zero because it's uh, j minus uh, coin value so uh, it will be four and after processing everything we return the value at last index so it's in this case uh, four okay so uh, now we understand the task let's dive into a uh, code so dp zero times amount plus one and dp zero will be one and four coin in coins four for j in 
range coin yeah. coin uh, amount plus one uh, dp j j minus coin and finally return dp amount so very simple uh, implementation and as you can see we are starting off with initialize our dp array uh, the reason dp0 is uh, one because yeah we didn't uh, have to choose uh, no coins as mentioned previously and then we update our dp array and for every amount uh, from the coin value up to the total amount we increment dpi by the number of ways we could achieve i minus coin value and by the end of this process dp amount uh, will hold uh, our uh, target solution so uh, let's run it and verify everything work yeah all working great so now let's submit it and hopefully it will pass yeah so all good uh, we beat 95% uh, of runtime and also 77% with respect to uh, memory. So I even have uh, here uh, 114 milliseconds or uh, faster. And yeah, so the power of this solution uh, stems from its incremental nature. So we aren't redoing any work. So we are building our solution from the ground up and for the uh, complexity, uh, it's uh, just O len coin time complexity and the uh, space complexity is O uh, of amount. So, uh, and that's it for uh, today problem. If you found this insightful, uh, show some love with a thumbs up and also code implementation in various uh, programming languages are in the description below. And if you have any question in sites, uh, yeah, please uh, give it a moment to share it in the comment. And always remember coding isn't just about uh, solving problem, it's about understanding them. And yeah, keep practicing, happy coding. See you next time.